A self gets built, two cells find an orbit around each other, a society absorbs them into a collective fabric that is never the same tomorrow as it was yesterday. We wanted to share our journey with everyone who is building a self in the same complex and often mysterious way. I think the, the greatest uh, gift of growing up in India was loving parents, uncles, grandparents, aunts. Uh, and they were all amazing storytellers. There's a poem, you might say, in the Upanishads, which are the greatest spiritual literature of India. It starts like, you are what your deepest desire is. The desire comes from past karma. As is your desire, so is your intention. As is your intention, so is your will. As is your will, so is your deed. As is your deed, so is your destiny. In India, people think we. In, in, in the US, it's me. So, you know, where we came from was very simple. And this kind of sucked me into the whole um, culture. So that was my culture shock. Okay, next day I went and bought a color television on credit. And soon I was totally in the culture spending money that I hadn't earned to buy things that I didn't need to impress people that I didn't like and then wondering what all the stress was all about. This country has a vibrancy because it brings an ethnic mix, a multicultural mix and um, it has a future because of that that will keep America at the leading edge of the world if it doesn't go back, if it doesn't regress. So the story about the robbery in our parents' home was that they were having dinner and the next thing up, our parents hear screams. He comes up and he's surrounded by three men and they tie our mother and our father and uh, demand the fees that my father, our father as a physician had collected. And then she said, not only will I give you the fees, but I have some other money in the Almira and you can take my jewelry. You obviously have greater needs than the rest of us do. He says, I don't know why I'm doing this. I have a bad habit. It turned out his name was Vikram. He was an addict. But as he's leaving, he turns to her and he says, now, if I ever get caught, uh, please don't identify me in the police line. And then he's caught and he's in jail. My brother-in-law says to my our mother, if you want all your jewelry recovered, you first have to come, fill a form, and then identify him in a police lineup. She said, no, I gave him my word. The jewelry is not important. I'm not going to do that. The measure of your enlightenment is the degree to which you're comfortable with paradox, contradiction, and ambiguity. Because deep within us, we all have sinners, we all have saints, we have the divine, we have the diabolical, and we just happen to be lucky in that the context that we grew up in, our parents, our families, the social structure, we could have been Vikram. <laughs>